Hey guys, Ryan Patrick here again with Peak Fitness and Sports Training, and we're going to talk about our exercise of the week this week, the goblet squat. It's one of the foundational exercises we've used, and we talked about cues with it throughout this entire week of our group training, and today I want to review those, as well as add in a few things I think will really help you guys benefit. So, the things we talked about first and foremost were setting up your stance, making sure that we're finding where your feet need to be, and the ideal position is really one that's going to allow you to keep your heels, big toe, and little toe planted as you go through that squat pattern. So a lot of times we'll see people kind of rock to the outside because they're trying to push the ground apart too hard, or we'll see them rock back into their heels and lift those toes up. Now if we lose this contact with the ground, it's going to change how these forces that we're squatting through the ground are going to be distributed through the entire kinetic chain. Second piece, we want to look at knee position. So you hear a lot of knees out cue. It's a good cue, but really the knees shouldn't be outside of the feet. What we're looking for is that knee to track right over the middle two toes. So as you squat, we maintain a nice alignment between the hip, knee, and foot that it's in a good straight line. If the knees collapse inward, we put ourselves at risk for some knee pain as well. And if they go to the outside, we're going to have some problems as well. Those two pieces alone are going to be a big part of the puzzle. So whether you squat a little bit narrower because you have great hip mobility or you have to open up and turn out, your knees will always follow your toes. And the last piece is, for beginners, we see a lot of them initiate the squat by breaking at the knees first. And this is just a flaw and usually indicative of some weakness in the posterior chain. So your squatting pattern should begin by dropping your hips back and sinking between your thighs. Okay. One of the last pieces we want to look at is that infamous butt, butt wink. So as you squat down, you're going to see my lower back's going to tend to curl under, and that's what we call butt wink. This really is an issue of inadequate core stiffness and or an immobility in the hips. And so you want to stay out of that pattern, especially when you're loaded, because it's the same as loading a rounded back. It's just instead of our back rounding, it's tucking under at the bottom. So those four things, the foot position, the knee position, making sure you're sitting back and watching the depth so that we don't go into that butt wing are all important cues for building a better goblet squat. So make sure you really pay attention to all these as you add it into your program and as you're watching it because it's going to really help make a difference.